This is Dr. Rebecca Sippel from Wisconsin, and the question for Dr. Sippel is, how long will it take to find the right dose of levothyroxine after surgery for Graves' disease, and will I see my surgeon for this or an endocrinologist? So after thyroid surgery, when your thyroid is removed for Graves' disease, you'll need to be placed on full thyroid hormone replacement. If you come into surgery and you're still fairly hyperthyroid, we may wait five to seven days before we start you on thyroid hormone replacement. But if you come into surgery fairly well controlled, we'll start the thyroid hormone the next day. The first dose of thyroid hormone that we start you on is typically based on your weight. We try to estimate what your ideal replacement is going to be. Now that calculation is just an estimate and it's not always perfect for everyone. Approximately a third of patients, we get that dose perfect right from the start, and they're on the appropriate dose of thyroid hormone replacement. But the other two-thirds of patients may need some minor adjustments in their thyroid hormone until we find an optimal dose. We typically will check levels about six to eight weeks after surgery, and then based on that a result, adjust your thyroid hormone, and then recheck it again in six to eight weeks until we find that right dose. Now, this may be something that your surgeon will coordinate for you after surgery, but sometimes this is transitioned to the endocrinologist. So just ask your surgeon and endocrinologist who's going to take responsibility for helping to get you regulated on thyroid hormone after surgery.